Hello again fellow GH fans. Welcome to another edition of Week in Review. I'm Lily. And I'm Dee Dee. Hala. We are the Soap Queens. We are here to give our opinions on the good, the bad, and the downright hot mess going on in Port Charles. And believe me, there's a lot of it going on. Well last week started with a bang, when Claudia's car crashed. Michael, Christina, and Alexis were all driving in that area right at the time of the accident. Making you wonder. Who's to blame? I have a question. What's that? Why is Incredible Hulk allowed to drive? Seriously Carly and Sonny? What the hell were you thinking giving this kid a car and a permit? And another thing. What now? How the hell did Carly get that permit for him anyways? I thought you yourself have to go take the test to get the permit. I do believe that's how it works in the real world. I thought so. But I forgot this is a soap opera. Well fortunately for Claudia, Carly was there to pull her out of the car before it exploded. While this is going on, Sunny and Olivia are giving in to their attraction, and start to make out. Unfortunately for them, they are interrupted by Johnny. He informs them, that Sunny is the father of Claudia's unborn child. In the case of Claudia's baby. Sonny. You are the father. Why are you looking at me like that? Claudia is rushed to the hospital, where it is revealed, that she and the baby are in distress. Robin suggests a certain medication, but warns her, that she could miscarry. And girlfriend was like oh hell no. So Patty Cakes suggests surgery which she agrees to. Unfortunately, he hurts his fingers when Robin slips on those damn stairs. Seriously. What are they using on those stairs? Crisco? Well due to this, Patrick asked Matt to do the surgery instead. Johnny strongly objects, but Claudia tells him she trusts Patrick's judgment. Johnny then warns Patrick that, if anything happens to Claudia, Matt will pay with his life. Which Matt overhears by the way. No pressure. Hey buddy? Well Matt is successful with surgery. However, Dr. Kelly informs Claudia, that due to the injuries she sustained during the accident, her baby has died. Oh snap. You know girlfriend is going to be out for blood after this. Well Sonny is feeling guilty for doubting the baby's paternity. Will his guilt keep him away from Olivia? Hell no. Sonny is a dog. And believe me his behind will be right back to scratching at Olivia's door. Meanwhile Carly Zeroix lands her in the hospital as well, when she collapses at home. I swear that has to be the 50th time this year she's collapsed. Well Dr. Kelly informs her, that she is at risk of having a stroke, and that she needs to stay calm and relaxed. Yeah well good luck with that considering Michael just confessed to causing the accident. Much to Jason's dismay Mac arrests Michael. Man you should have seen the crazy blank stares on Stone Cold's face when that happened. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. And I wouldn't bend over while in jail, if I was you. Holla. You know I worry about you sometimes. Whatever. Elsewhere in Port Charles. Maxie asks Spinelli for more time, to think about his marriage proposal. He still gives her the ring as a token of his love. That's sweet and all but there's something missing with this couple. I rather see her with Matt. You don't like the jackal. Spinelli is sweet. A little nerdy but sweet. However, I loved when Kirsten and Jason played Sean and Belle on Days of Our Lives. They were so hot, and I just think they could generate that same hotness here on GH. Well good luck with that, because there are a lot of Maxi and Spinelli fans out there that would disagree. Well I say, may the best man win. And on that note we will wrap this up for now. Tune in next week for more Week in Review with the Soap Queens. I'm Lily. And I'm Dee Dee. Goodbye. Hey, they're playing my song.